what's going on everyone in today's video i'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to mine duna coin so if you're ready to mine duna coin but you have no clue what to get or what you just need to do in general just watch this video i'm going to tell you guys exactly how you do that and of course if you haven't already uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel and let's jump straight into this video so the first thing you want to get is some sort of micro controller micro controller gotta say it right so you can choose between a few there's a lot actually but we only use a few at dunacoin which is an arduino and it doesn't matter which Arduino. You can do whatever. The Uno, the Zero, the, the 25. <laughs> I don't know even if that's a number. But just any Arduino that's uh, available on the market. You can mine Duno coin with. Also, we have the most popular ESP8266. And obviously, you can also use the ESP32s. But if you're really new... You don't know a lot about mining and you just don't know anything about microcontrollers i would highly recommend the esp 8266 it's uh very cheap uh it kind of depends on where you get it but it's around three to four dollars euros anything you want basically so uh yeah just get this one you can also mine with raspberry pis this is a little bit of a different process to actually set up the mining. But uh, on the website of dunacoin.com, you can find all the information about how you mine with a Raspberry Pi. It's basically a step-by-step -step guide on what steps you do, where you uh, enter some types of code, what program to open. Basically everything that you need to know about mining with a Raspberry Pi. So the second thing that you need if you have a microcontroller is either a soldering iron or you get some of these. These are a jumper cables and uh, they're very small and finicky and you use them to uh, clip to the pins on the ESPs or Arduinos and uh, these jumper cables are female to female. That's uh, pretty important to know because if you get a male to female or a male to male, then uh, they basically don't go on to your boards. And uh, you can use this to relay the power from one board to another. So if you want like you've got one ESP and you want another behind it, there are like markings with letters on the side of ESPs that tells you, oh, this one is the ground, this one is the voltage, etc., etc. Then you just reroute those like this. You put the jumper cables on, and then you just uh, put the other end of the cable on the other side on another ESP. You can also use it with a power supply, obviously. You can use these to uh, solder to a power supply or... Uh, basically do whatever they're just really easy i think uh, a stack of like 20 of these cost i think it was like 40 cents so uh yeah you should definitely get these and uh, they always come in handy so the third thing you need is some kind of computer so that can be a laptop that can be a pc or maybe in the library you can use a pc the thing is you need to download Arduino IDE. This looks, the first time you start it up, like a really complicated program. But don't worry, it's really easy to use for beginners. Basically, the only thing you need to do is you go to DuinoCoin.com, go to your selected board. There you find the download link of a special code for that board you open this code in arduino ide there you see a lot of text and complicated colors and whatever 
and the only thing you want to change are your username your wi-fi name your wi-fi password basically the first like section of the code there's like in between this color things and it even tells you this is the thing you need to change it's really easy just change those few things out for uh well yours and then uh, on the top left there, there is an arrow where you can upload the code make sure you use your uh, cable to your uh, microcontroller basically plug it in and uh, you're set make sure you got the right port and just upload the code to your board and that's it the only thing now that you need to mine Duno coin is power so um how do you power these things well um it's actually so much easier than a lot of people think the only thing you need is like a phone charger or anything i'm uh, i have this one plugged into my pc right now and you just plug it in and well this works now i've i've turned off the led that's why you don't see it but uh this is mining and it's just a cable into my uh, USB port of the PC. That's the only thing you need as a power supply. You can also just use a phone charger and plug it into a wall somewhere. And that's the good thing about the ESPs. They have a Wi-Fi module on it. So uh, I can basically put this in like the basement, just in a, in a outlet and they will just mine forever. I mean, out of sight out of mind and you're still mining duna coin and earning money obviously so uh yeah that's probably the smartest tip i can give you it's a little bit different with a raspberry pi because you need a monitor but i mean you need a monitor for this to apply the code so it's uh a bit of both i guess i like the raspberry pi but uh, this is just so much easier and it's a, there's a reason why this is the most famous board to mine Duno coin with. But anyway, I really hope this clarifies some of the questions you guys are having. And if you have uh, some more questions about how you actually start to mine Duno coin, just let me know down in the comments and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. Because uh, that's what this project is all about. And obviously, if you have more questions, you can always join my Discord and I would gladly help you there as well. You can find the link down in the comments. But uh, with that being said, uh, next week is another Rick Showcase, if I'm correct. Yeah, yeah. Next week, next uh, Rick Showcase, number 10. It's going to be a big one, so be ready for that. And if you haven't already uh, submitted your Rick, you can join the Discord. You can send a picture of your rig to be featured in number 10 of the rig showcase. And uh, that's about it for this video, guys. So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.